Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got home from work. My makeup is literally like running off my face. I'm so oily today, but I had a package. I haven't even opened it yet. So hopefully they didn't screw it up because if so, I'm gonna be disappointed. But I took advantage of the free shipping this week from Ulta. Like um, I did the other video with that new Morphe palette that I got <clears throat> for like 12 something using the 350 coupon. And then I also got another palette. And I don't remember if it was eyeshadows or what. So we'll be surprised together. Here we are. <clears throat> oh, what did I get? What did I get? get rid of the bubble pack oh it came back at me all right so I do have my ceiling fan on today I don't know how that's gonna sound with this video so if y'all don't like it please leave a message in the comments below um, just because it gets a little warm in here and I don't want to be sweating while I'm on camera with y'all but if you do hear it just let me know so what did I buy what did I buy oh I got the ColourPop super shock highlighters i have not tried these yet so i was pretty stoked to see these um on there just at the time that i was wanting to buy some goodies so the colors that i got are pearlized and oh wait <laughs> that's not the... they're both pearlized might be and lunch money lunch money light be all right so with highlighters if they're too dark for you use them as an eyeshadow but if you've never used super shock um shadows before or the highlighters they're amazing amazing don't mind my arm you guys i'm still getting over having that rash and it just itches and irritates me and i scratch it i literally just came home and scratched it first time i scratched it all day so here's the first one okay and of course it's camera you're not gonna see it blinging but this is the might be these are so buttery like if you can see me like oh look at that oh guys oh my god y'all see that Oh my god so that's obviously gonna be too dark for me so I got this one to use as a shadow um, even if this other one's too dark for me it's gonna be a shadow it's gonna last me freaking forever so this is the lunch money one. Oh my god they're so freaking buttery I might be able to use we'll see they're just they feel so good like I'll use them as shadows like I said ain't no shame in this girl's game and they're like super cheap they're like eight something and I think I got them on sale for like six something so look how much I mean it's a big pot okay guys love color pop I need more of their stuff um, second thing I got is Juvia's place I know like people's have this for it's been out forever I just didn't have it and I finally decided to pick it up um, it's the Zulu palette and if you know me which I hope by now you guys would you know that this girl loves some color <clears throat> I've been eyeing this palette up for so long every time I went to Ulta I was like ah, I can't even purr right but I'm trying um, so I finally was just like I'm buying this like it's for y'all too you know what I mean um here we go I'm looking first I'm sorry I paid for it I'm looking at it first <laughs> I'm acting like I've never seen it before look at those colors oh my god like I just can't mm. This yellow though 
I'm not a good swatcher, just so y'all know too, okay? I mean, totally excited. The purple, purples are really hard to make, so. Oh my. Y'all see how I'm breaking out over here? Yeah, and of course I picked it, which is what I do. So let's wipe this gunk off my face and do an eye look. How's that sound? And let's wipe this off. Oh, I don't know why I was so oily today. But this eyeshadow that I'm wearing today was from the palette I got in my BoxyCharm, the Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. This one right here. Check out my other video because I posted it. Those guys like I'm usually oily but I have been getting drier because it's winter and I live in Illinois and the weather is crazy it's like one day it'll be you know like feeling like it's two degrees out and the next day it feels like it's 58 degrees so <sighs> I'm over it I don't plan on living here forever <clears throat> all right Let's put some eyeshadow primer in and then get our words straight. We're going to put some eyeshadow primer on. Okay, so let's get our primer on for our eyes, okay? And today we are going to use the LA Girl High Definition. This is the white one. I don't even see the actual shade on here. But as you can see, find their lightest one, it'll be white. Okay. Now you can blend this in with a sponge, you can blend this in with your finger, whatever works for you. So it's so cute. Um, where I work at, I used to work there before. And I left, then I came back, and I only left because I had to get off at a night shift, okay? Like, I love our work. But anyways, they had me come back, and, like, <clears throat> so many people since I've been back, like, started wearing makeup at work. And I just love it. Like, they are always talking to me about it. And it just makes me feel good that I'm making other people feel good about themselves and want to, you know, wear makeup. You ain't got to wear makeup to be pretty. Trust me, I like myself on, like, non-makeup days, too. You know what I mean? Like, just lounging at home, being all natural. But I like to, like, ah, hello, let's do some bright colors, you know? Or sometimes I just want my skin tone to look good because, trust me, it don't most of the time. Um, but then sometimes they start breaking out. Look at that. All right, let's do. So excited. Okay. Um, like, I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but oh my God, they're so pretty. All right. I think we're going to go like a purple and teal just because. I want to. <laughs> so, do these even have like the names? It doesn't even look like it. So I'm going in with this teal color right here. And I'm just putting this up in like the crease area here. I 
and I'm really buffing that in, okay? Because this is just for our transition shade. You know, I mean, we're going we gonna to go a little wild. Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Don't let anybody tell you different. Express yourself, okay? Do you be unique. You know, if you like wild colors, wear some wild ass colors, okay? It's fun. I get stalked by so many people and they're like, oh my god, I love your hair. And my hair's got like 100,000 different shades of blue and green and teal and all kinds of different colors in there. Or, oh my gosh, I love your eyes, girl. Thank you. Thank you. But, you know, just do what makes you happy. And wearing a purple eyeshadow makes you happy. Hey, boo. That's wonderful. This is that purple shade right now, by the way. We're just adding that along the corners here. Hey, you guys, I have not planned this look. I'm literally just going. So if this, like, well, I'm just winging it. So if this sh looks like shit in the end, I'm sorry. But hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. All right, let's go in. Any type of shimmers, because I'm going to use this blue shimmer right here. I always use my finger. Because that's just what works best for me. Oh. oh. Hello, girl. Hey. This is gorgeous. I mean, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot. It looks good. So, after I get done here, I have to go make... I have a lot of um, little t-shirts I'm going to make. So... I had somebody ask me if I'd make them some t-shirts for Thanksgiving and I said okay. Just gives me something else to do, you know. Alright. I'm going to get that makeup wipe that I was using to clean my face and just wipe off my... God, I really like these colors. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to use that highlighter that I just got from ColourPop. <laughs> so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know. Oh, God, these are so buttery. I just love to touch them. They just, if you've never felt a super shock from ColourPop, you are missing out. Like, this shit is good. And it's so freaking cheap. Like, it's literally like you're sticking your finger in butter. Okay. So I just basically kind of like did a gradient. It's like lighter and then into the teal. So I like that. Okay. So I just need to blend a little bit more with that teal and that purple. So what I'm going to do for that, um, always make sure you put your lid back on these. Okay. They will dry out. Um, I'm going to grab my little blending brush and I use that purple. <clears throat> I'm going to grab a little bit of that shimmery blue with that purple. I want it still to be on there. And we're just going to buff right over where the, that transitions. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look. What are y'all thinking? So I still have a lot of white up here from my concealer. We'll fix that. Just wondering what I got in here. No. See, this is what happens when you don't plan your videos. You have to look for stuff. From far away, looks kind of good having the white under there but when you get up close it really don't um all right so let's get another little brush because i just want to add in like a, a highlight underneath there and it'll just cover up and blend so this has a um blue undertone in it and this is from the kat von d what is it called 
Alchemist holographic palette and it's this one right here like if you don't like look at it from a certain angle you wouldn't even know there was a blue undertone but it does and it's just kind of blending in with that teal transition shade that we did so that's good now brows I've been using the Kat Von D powder a lot with y'all but I want to switch it up so let me go grab something else because I still have pretty much 99% of my makeup in the other room so I will be right back okay I just hit my back on guess who's back back again Trish is back tell your friends all right <laughs> all right so for eyebrows I did grab this flower beauty um, one so it's got the spoolie on one end hope you all could see that and it's just your pencil retractable pencil on the other nothing you know crazy about it but I just wanted to grab a little something something for my brows let me grab this mirror here y'all know I love this mirror whoa that was crazy um, okay so I'm just basically filling in a bit I need to really go get my brows done or pluck them myself a little bit because I don't think my appointment is for another few weeks I totally got some of that highlighter in my brows too because I was using a brush that really wasn't made for that but hey you know what I don't care so the nice thing about doing your brows before you put on like your face makeup is any fallout you can cover it up okay guys so you can be as messy as you want to be This one brow always has a better arch on it. But hey, they're sisters. They're not twins, right? <laughs> okay, so once I like fill them in really good, then I just spoolie them a little bit just to feather that out. It just gets rid of like any harsh lines pulls all the hairs together where they need to be I ran out of my brow gel I do like a brow gel um, but I need to go get some more and well it's not happening right now so hey whatever it is what it is um what else do I want to do to my eyes anything I mean I'm gonna do liner but I'll do that here in a minute I'm just thinking shadow wise but I don't think so all right let's see here let's go ahead and put on our liner I need to find my lashes for some reason I must have taken them out of here and I don't know why um all right this is that Ciate London I'm only using it because it's right here I actually don't really like it other than the stamp and I'm just gonna try to run this very lightly which doesn't work usually when I'm using the felt tip I don't want a thick line so one I do like um, is that Kat Von D's um, waterline one I can't think of what it's called I do like that one though Tickled my eye a little bit. All right. And I just wanted to darken that up a little bit. And let's go in with some shadow. I just want to, or foundation. Let's go in with some foundation, okay? I do want to clean up a little bit underneath my eye on the corner here. I 
and I might smoke it out underneath. I haven't decided yet, but when I go to do that, I'm going to do it after I put on my face part, okay? So we're going to try out, I'm still testing out this um, serum that I got, the Cypress, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, Antioxidant Dew. I'm hoping this isn't what was causing me to be so oily today because I don't want to stop using it. It's $90. I got it from my BoxyCharm, so, you know, I would like to use some luxury products, okay? All right. Yeah, I tried this on yesterday. Hopefully that's not what broke me out on my cheek, too. Oh, my nose. All right, lid back on that. No wasting. Um, all right. Hmm. Let's, let's do it. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've really been liking this. Other than the fact that I was pretty oily today. Um, but I don't, it's not that. that I've been using that for a little while. Um, okay, primer wise, this is a tried and true for me. I do like this one. Ooh, we'll use this too. The Stay Matte by Rimmel. I especially like to use this in my T-zone because this will keep me matte for sure. Oh, I'm almost out of this one, but I know I have more in me stash. So it's like a white cream, but this literally will keep me matte. So I put, put a lot on my finger, but hey, that's all right. And I get really oily, like, especially my nose. My nose is the worst spot, but on my chin, oh my goodness. It's horrible. But this has definitely got really good oil control. I do watch um, Taylor Wind. She used to go by the Taylor um, on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure, like, she liked this product. Like, it worked for her, except for it broke her out. So, <clears throat> if it breaks you out, I'm sorry. It doesn't break me out, though. You know what I should do? I've been using this one with you. Let's try a different one. This is one I keep in my makeup bag, like for on the go. <clears throat> it's that Maybelline Dream Urban cover. So people always said this was like a dupe for the It Cosmetics um, line. I mean, I like it. It's, you know, it's good. I've used it quite a bit. I do mix these two shades though. I got the 112 Natural Ivy, Ivory and the 110 Porcelain. So I do, oh my nose itches, tend to mix them for a better shade match for myself. Um, and whenever I do mix it, I just put a little bit of that fair ivory. I don't do much just because I don't need that much of it. But the porcelain one, that's the one I need more of. But I do like this. So, like, you know, if you can't afford that um, one by It Cosmetics, I mean, is it an exact match? No. But, I mean, can you blame it? The It Cosmetics one's like, what, 40, 50 bucks? This one is like, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks. <coughs> so, I mean, you're not going to have something that's exactly the same. But they're pretty similar in my, like, at least on my skin. I need to use a different sponge for you guys at some point in time, but it's probably going to happen once I get, like, my stuff actually moved in here. So my plan for the weekend is I got to make these t-shirts, and I'm hoping the wall behind me to get it, like, start painting it at least oh, in my brow, at least where I need to work from, you know what I mean? And then I can work around. That way I can get some stuff in here and 
have a better setup. Like I said, I do plan on, I said so this in other videos, not on this one, but I do plan on getting like a couple lights off to the side um, just to shine down on me so it brightens up the sides because right now the sides look kind of dark and it makes my face look really dark in the videos on the sides and it makes it look like I put like way too much bronzer and stuff on so that's why I add those photos in at the end that way you can see I'm not nuts okay <laughs> I promise I'm not um concealer age rewind by Maybelline it's a tried and true I'm not doing a brightening one so for the longest time this was the only one I could find um and it's the light pale and it's actually kind of my skin tone um they do have one that's a little bit lighter now so that's good so I usually use the lighter one but this is like my I think this isn't the lightest one I don't know it seemed a little yellow to me maybe I'm getting paler <laughs> who knows Come on. I haven't used this particular one in a while. It's probably expired. There we go. Oh, yeah. You see how it's kind of more yellow on the side? Eh. That's alright. <clears throat> look at how yellow my sponge is now from that I'm definitely gonna clean that out it's kind of gross uh, let's see I think I've gotten too pale for that and it's almost gone I'm probably just gonna wind up throwing it out but that is my favorite concealer though like no joke if you want a budget friendly one there you go um, all right, let's get some bronzer on. What are we going to use? Probably, oh, I haven't used this one with y'all. This one is dark. It is dark for me, but I wanted to, you know, show it to y'all. It's the Too Faced Unicorn Tears. Look at how cute that is. And inside, when you look at it, it's even cuter. Look at that. It's got a unicorn. So we're going to go very light handed with this. Okay. Light handed. So we're going to go very light handed with this because on the camera with this lighting, it's going to look like it's very dark, but I promise you don't walk out the house with a dark face. Um, let's set our face real quick with some powder and we will be able to start. Um, I think for my powder, hmm, what do I want to use? Probably just, I don't have all my powders in here. I would just use my Bye Bye Pores, or my Too Faced powder here. Oh, see, look, my thing just broke. I told you this, this pad for that came with Too Faced, it's janky as hell. Come on, Too Faced. Like, really? And I'm trying to set underneath these eyes too because I have like that one little wrinkle. I've always had it that goes right underneath my eyes. And I do not need it filling up and getting all yuckified with some concealer. Okay. So I'm just starting with that so far. Okay. That's just to erase some of those bad boy, bad boy pores. Then I'm going to go in with my Milani that y'all have seen me use. <clears throat> I'm trying to get this done with, okay? Don't hate on me because I always use this and it's almost out. I have a whole nother one. 
with it. And this will just add a little bit of color to my face too. I like how I just catch myself in the camera and I'm like <laughs> Trish you looking so cute so growing up I was like this huge tomboy I mean I'm still kind of a tomboy you know what I mean like I like to fish all that you know what I mean <clears throat> and I would dabble with makeup a little bit here and there not very often and um I just started like really getting into it. I mean, every once in a while I put on makeup, but not very often. Like I started doing like full on makeup like in April <coughs> or May, probably more like April. So it hasn't been that long, you know, I'm just, I'm just learning to, but I figured, Hey, I'll learn on here too, you know? I might do something and somebody might comment and say, hey, you should try it this way. You know, like, some people will get on YouTube and leave these hateful comments for people and it's just rude. I mean, I know it's going to happen, but it doesn't have to. Like, people, I mean, we could be nice to each other, but, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I have my bitchy moments. But I don't just get on somebody's channel and leave comments like that. You know what I mean? Um, I have no idea where my contour is. Hmm. Maybe we won't contour today. All right, let's just bronze. Hey, that's all right. All right, so. We're going to grab that Too Faced Unicorn Tears bronzer and the unicorn part and even the bronzer itself, it does have a shimmer into it, okay? And we are going to go light handed like I said. See how dark that looks on the camera? It doesn't look that dark in real life, okay? But you can always blend it away. And when it comes to like contour and stuff, I don't like to go past like the corner of my eye. That's just me. Some people like they contour down. If you have like an angular face, they'll contour down and like up just to give the illusion of like bigger, fuller cheeks. I mean, you do what works best for you. And I do like to kind of soften this area right here up a little bit with some bronzer, just because I have a heart shaped face and right up in here too i'm trying new techniques just so you know like i said i'm learning too this is my new boxycharm um brush that came and we're just gonna kind of blend that this buffs really nicely i really like these so boxycharm please do more of these every month every month send us some brushes because in my book they killed it with these brushes like I've only used it a couple of times but they blend out my bronzer so nicely because like being so pale I do tend to sometimes I do put too much on and I just need to buff it out you know and I get it buffed out but sometimes it just takes longer I have to do more work with some other brushes see I like it like that I mean there's some times where I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I get to work and I look at myself and I said what the hell did I just do and like it looks really harsh and I mean it is what it is I'm at work by then whatever you know but sometimes I'm like oh shit like I just want something a little like I'm very pale I don't need to bronze that much but if you kind of have that a uh, you know if you have a deeper skin tone than me and you want to bronze up your face and look have that sun kissed look you have to think about okay where does the sun hit my face that's where I need to apply my bronzers so cheekbone area um, some people will do a little bit just lightly on their chin tip of the nose 
um, forehead area and it's all about blending do not leave harsh marks we've all done it I've done it shit I'll probably do it tomorrow but blend 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 okay number one rule blend 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 okay um blush I really need to switch out some of this makeup because my shit is not looking like oh I got a blush in here in my oh dang it I found a contour but that's all right I'll let y'all know though um if you're pale like me and you need that cool undertone I love this physician's formula bronze booster okay so this sorry always makes that noise this middle shade is a great contour for me just because it is very light and doesn't come off orange on my face so that's great um and then like if i'm on the go i take this with me too um because then it also has a bronzer that i can use but i'm really light-handed with that one too <clears throat> but i do have this milani blush forgot about that are these cute can you see the flower petal in there let me open it up and make it easier you can see that so this is a coral coat is the co color for this okay uh, let's just grab our blush brush. This is the wet and wild one that I always use Dab 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 Get a lot of that off. You do not want to go too he heavy-handed on Your blush All right heart shape faces Adams or the apples of the cheek and then up okay I'm actually really liking this look. <laughs> Yay me. All right. So highlighter. Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. I don't know if this is going to show very well, but we're going to try it. So because I've never used the Super Shock on my um, highlighters. So Fingers crossed this works out. So Super Shock Shadows, you got to use your finger. Okay. Any of the Super Shock stuff. Like if you try to use a blush with these, you're going to fail. <laughs> if you've mastered it, please let me know. But I'm just taking it and I'm just dabbing it right here. This is like the, where I go. Um, let's go a little bit on this side. And I don't bring it out very far okay and the reason why is I'm oily my cheeks get oily so I'm already gonna have in a couple hours like shine that comes through a little bit you know tip of the nose I don't like to do a huge amount top of the lip all right and I think I'm gonna put a little bit more right here if I can get it to here a little bit more okay and corner of the eye okay mmm that looks good I like this highlighter Okay, so let's go ahead and set our face. So I did bring in um, the Stay Matte by Rimmel Spray too. Okay. I forgot my fan. It's still I still haven't brought it in. Like boxes work great, and it, they're noisy. <laughs> all right guys so let's go ahead and add some mascara and be done 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 oh lips but I'll have to do lips too all right I tried explaining this technique to somebody today so Ellie this is for you 
I use this essence one, okay? Make sure you get the teal color. You already own the Revlon So Fierce, you said. Okay, here we go. So, go ahead and open up both of your mascara wands, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Essence. First. So I was sitting at work today and my coworker, Ellie, asked me if I was wearing my magnetic lashes. I'm going straight in with the So Fierce. And I said, I'm not wearing lashes. These are my natural lashes. And I told her about this technique that I use. So now she can do it herself. Okay. Now I'm going with the other eye because I want this one to sit for a little bit. Good coat on there. Okay. So this combination, I don't know how Taylor figured this out, but Taylor Wynn that is on YouTube. That's how I found out about this. I was watching her YouTube and she tried this and that girl, I learned so much from her channel. Like I'm not kidding. Um, I've been watching her for years and she's amazing. All right. This lengthens my lashes so much and it lifts them and how I have no idea. It's pure magic. And this Essence Mascara is literally, it's like five bucks or something. I don't know, it's not, it's not expensive. And you can get it at CVS. Use your extra care bucks, you know. You can buy it at Ulta. And, I mean, come on guys. It's super cheap. Now the Revlon one, it's like $10. But, you're basically just using that to separate the lashes some. And I have tried it without, and it, it just doesn't look as good without the other one. Okay, so we did Essence, So Fierce, then over here, or excuse me, yeah, Essence, So Fierce, Essence, So Fierce, Essence, Essence. Now we've given our top ones a little break, and we're going in with our final coat of the Essence. Okay. Like, and this just makes my eyelashes banging. All right, guys, I'm gonna kinda step in to the camera a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Yes, so. These colors go so good with my hair too, on my eyes. What do y'all think though? I think it's gorgeous. A little bit of bronzing on the side. Okay. So heart shape up in here just to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. And for, I have a big head. Okay. So don't get me wrong. And then I do right here on the temples and down just a little bit. Like I basically go to kind of like the corner of my eyes. That's where I just started going. Blush. Apples of the cheek, blend up, highlight. I just do right here at the top, right here at the top. Tip, and right here, okay? Um, for our lipstick, I'm just gonna go with this Flower Beauty. This is a different color. This is the Bear Honey. I don't think, I, I don't know if I've used this one yet. Oh, it's a nice nude. I mean, I kind of figured it was a nude since it was called Bear Honey, but. All right, guys. That's the final look. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. And I hope you guys come back. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Literally, I'm so excited. Um, 
one week ago from today I had 37 subscribers and as of right now let's check okay because it's just been an amazing week it really has I have 246 keep them coming guys come on come hang out with Trish <laughs> all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed your t the time that we spent together and until next time peace